Smith from the Rose Arms Post 355 here in Nebraska. Thank you for inviting us. With me tonight is our Legion Honor Guard, Jim Arts, Mike Kanapa, Nick Shannon, and Ralph Beck. And Les Williams will be doing the taps with our bugle. We come to honor the memory of Kenneth Hansen, who offered life and service to God and country. Proudly remember, we remember his service in time of war. The ceremonies of today deepen our reverence for our honored comrade and friend. May you feel Ken is at rest and an endless peace. Kenneth Hansen of West Bend entered eternal life on March 24, 2020 at Crater Hospital. At Ken's bedside were his wife, daughter, son, and daughter-in-law. On behalf of Rose Harms Post 355, I offer my sympathy on Ken's passing. To cherish his memory are his wife, Joan, of 61 years, his daughter, Diane, son, Steve, and Desiree, grandchildren, Sarah and Mike Schmidt, Matthew and Stephanie Hansen, Jennifer and Joel Moser, great-grandchildren Mason, Kendall, <coughs> Parker, Lucas, and other friends and relatives. He was preceded in death by his parents, brothers, sister, and a son, Jeffrey Allen. Mm -hmm. Ken was born on May 14, 1931, in Milwaukee, to Harry and Lucille Olson Hansen. On March 21, 1959, in Waukegan, Illinois, okay. <laughs> he was united in marriage to John Russell. Ken was a member of our post, Rose Harms, for 43 years. He proudly served in the U.S. Army and received many medals, including a Purple Heart. In April of 2017, he joined fellow veterans on the Stars and Stripes Honor Flight. A memorable trip to Washington, D.C. with his son, Steve, as a guardian. As veterans, we are all part of a Legion family and are always available to comfort one another just as we join together here tonight. Ken was an auto body technician for his entire career. Among his interests were NASCAR, especially Jimmy Johnson, mm -hmm. and sports such as the Badgers and the Packers. He loved cooking and creating. As a master chef, I saw him in the right up the he was a people's choice in many chili cook-offs. At Christmas, he made ornaments with his personal signature, and anything he painted always had that signature. He enjoyed sporting in his patriotic attire on special holidays and would make rounds at Christmas in his Santa attire. Hey. He loved puzzles and framed many of them. Another thing he liked 
love to do was tip with either gold coins or two dollar bills. And if he had your name at Christmas, you would receive a gift with a unique money attached. <clears throat> Ken will be missed by all of us. And to end, and I hope I can read this tonight, it's a poem that his family requested that I read. I write to you this letter from heaven above, sent on wings of angels, to them on earth I love. I want you to know I am happy, contented, and free from pain. Waiting for the day to come when we will all meet again. I want you to be happy. Remember the times we had. How can I be happy in heaven knowing you are sad?
<laughs> On behalf of the President of the United States, the United States Army, and a grateful nation, this flag is presented to you in honor of your loved ones, faithful and honorable service to our country. Thank <laughs> you.